Hello YouTubers! Welcome back to my channel. It's Aria here. Today I'm going to be reviewing a clean conditioner, uh, which is a cleanser that has color in it that I've been using for about two months now. Um, I got these conditioners during a Black Friday sale, so I got I got like three mocha colored ones and I got one red one. Oops, can you guys see that? Camera. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of like all out of the red one and I still have quite a bit of the uh, mocha color one. And you guys, um, let me start off with the red one. So I am quite impressed. Uh, with the red color because it actually did give me red tones in my hair and like especially in the sun my hair would look like I would say like a almost like a fiery red burgundy kind of color and it was like it wasn't orange it wasn't purple but it was red so that was really great and um, you don't have to use like shampoo with this or conditioner after because it cleanses your hair um, but one of the things that I did notice with this is that in order for my hair to get more color I'd have to leave it on for like 30 minutes uh, and apply it to my dry hair and well um, that's that's when I noticed like the best results when I would put it on dry um, the color does tend to rinse out a lot in the shower So you just kind of have to be careful about that. I feel like the times that I didn't rinse my hair like thoroughly like For like five minutes straight like if I if I didn't like if I didn't if I rinsed it a little bit, you know But not like too rinsed out um, I'd have more of a red tone in my hair and sometimes like the color would transfer on my towel which is a little bit strange. Oh my god, what's going on with my light? What's going on with my light? What the hell? Too much light? Hold on, you guys. Uh, okay, I, I, I guess I'm gonna have to do that. I, Sorry you guys, I'm not sure what's going on with my lighting, but... Um, yeah, so anyway... Oh, you guys can kind of see like the... Anyways, yeah. So, um, I found... I did dye my hair... Uh, sometime last year so I have dyed it and and I feel like it works way better if you have had your hair dyed uh, because my roots my roots are like dark dark brown and the red color wouldn't show up on my natural root color it wouldn't show up there at all so I definitely think it works best if you already have dyed your hair before um, and, and like my my ends were a lot lighter than than you know my natural hair color so it showed up more from like here to down here um, and one of the things that I do want to know is that I have I have like um oily hair so sometimes this not the red one but I feel like the mocha one leaves me with a little bit of an oily Oh my god, my lighting's off again, you guys, sorry. It, it leaves me with a little bit of like an oily um, cast on my hair. Um, but it could also be other products that I'm applying like on top of my hair. Hmm, I don't know. So it is easy to feel kind of like you're not rinsing your hair or washing it well enough because it is like a very moist, you know, cleanser. And it has rose rose oil in it and um, other oils so I think that you know it's definitely going to add a lot of moisture in your hair so for me having like oily hair that's kind of like not something that I want too much of not too much moisture um, but yeah so I, but the the great thing is that I did have results uh, with with the red color um, and it, it just didn't take on my my dark brown roots can you guys see that like you guys can kind of see it's like a red pigment there it shows up better in the light but like can you guys kind of see oh wait hmm. 
I don't know. Sorry, you guys. Anyways, the mocha color also gave me like a brown, dark brown caramelized hair color brunette look to my hair um and it kind of just adds more colors to make it look a little bit more like pop and like a pop of radiance instead of just like like very flat and one dimensional so I think it definitely adds like <laughs> some something to it you know uh one of the other things that I do want to mention Guys, I don't know what's going on with my lighting. Okay, one of the other things that I do want to mention is that um, usually every time that I shower and like wash my hair, uh, my hair ends up very frizzy. And I don't really know if it's the color. I don't really know what would make it come out frizzy. Um, you know, so that's another thing to keep in mind. I have like fine hair, so it would just come out frizzy from like the bottom, but, and, and then, you know, that first day after washing it, it wouldn't be oily, but like the next day I'd have like a lot of oil up here. So yeah, um, overall, I mean, I haven't tried any other color conditioners, but I mean, if you're looking for something like fun, like let's say just something fun where you're not actually like dyeing your hair or you don't want to damage it, um, I would, you know, I would recommend these. Um, I really like that. I really like the red look, so I actually bought red, red hair color, so I'm going to be dyeing my hair soon to make it permanent. Um, and yeah, like today I used like the mocha. And I might have like a little bit of red in my hair. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, 